I'm going to show you guys everything there is to know about clubs in Harry Potter puzzles and spells. So first off, the point of joining a club, aside from the social element, is you get benefits if you can tier up the club. Uh, every club starts off in stone. Eventually, if you can, if your club can solve enough puzzles per week, they can get upgraded to emerald and then sapphire and then to fire diamond. Uh, at the very, very end, the, uh, the rewards are lives refill 40% faster. One more max quill cap. Uh, the free gold vault gives 40% more. All spells are upgraded by one level. You get two times unused moves XP bonus. So every move that you have left over at the end of a puzzle gives you double the experience. And then it also unlocks the Norwegian something dragon. I forget his name. And then you get a landslide power up as a choice. Okay. Uh, so in order to tier up, your club has to be in the top five rankings for trophies at the end of each week. Uh, in order to get trophies, you have to solve puzzles. So each member who solves a puzzle, every time you solve a puzzle, you get three trophies added to your total for the week. And then the uh, at the end of the week, you know, however many you have, if you have enough for top five, then you get promoted. And I don't know how this gets organized, but these are like, there are multiple sections. This is not all the clubs in the entire world. I know that for a fact. Like it, it somehow separates them into maybe regions or something. I don't know. Uh, there's also a global leaderboard if you want to, look at the global leaderboard for this week last week it's also lets you uh it's a good way to look into things like looking at what some of these pets are and things and looking at like other people and stuff uh so yeah and then also clubs obviously if you didn't already know you can go to your club chat and chat with people and talk about things make friends also you can ask for lives which you should do as often as you can and you should give lives as often as you can because sending lives does not actually use one of your lives it just creates a free life that it gives to the other person's inbox and they can use whenever they want it does not cost you anything and it gives you experience so whenever you see these you should send a life it's it's totally free and it gives you experience uh also there's a search feature if you want to if you have a friend and they can give you the name of the club they're in you can search for it but you may if they're in a different region of the world you may have to uh change the region to a different region uh, so if like you're in Germany and your friends clubs in the United States and you want to join it, you got to remember to switch the region before you search. Uh, and then uh, that's most of everything. Then there's daily puzzles, which are under events and any club officer can start these uh, every day. There's a daily club puzzle. Once you start it, there's, I think, three or four hours for everybody to try to do it. And the more people who do it, the more trophies you get. So the first guy gets three trophies. Next guy, I think it's four or five. And next guy gets, you know, another one or two or whatever. And it just keeps on adding. So if everybody does it, the final person gets like, I don't remember, like 20 or 30 trophies, something like that. So the total can be really high if everybody does it. Just want a few people do it, though. It's dramatically lower because it's exponential like that. Also, finally, uh, that pet, uh, if you get to fire diamond, then you either get this or it becomes unlocked and you have to get the cards. I actually don't know offhand because uh, my club has not gotten there yet we're on the way but we're not there uh, but one way you can find out like i said you can go to this find a club that's already there and then find someone who's using that pet so here we go and then you can view and see it's actually not that great because the bag's what you really want i mean it's it's decent but uh really the best pets in the game are i think the guys up here these two the puff scott puff skin i don't know how to say it uh which because streak two and streak three you get a bag which of those bags are just insanely good they're the best power up in the game uh and then the other one is the phoenix which gives bag and then streak two is kind of you got to just make it through without it and then after that every third streak you know once you're on a, th a three streak every single puzzle at start of it you get a bag and a bomb if you're on a three streak this one's in my opinion the best one hands down uh so yeah and that one you can get from here. I don't know about the other one. I don't know if there might be a vet because I don't see it in here. But I know you can get the Phoenix, which is good because the Phoenix is honestly better in my opinion. So, yeah, and it gives 20, plus 20 XP per player journey puzzle win. So, yeah, so that's pretty much everything there is to know about clubs in Harry Potter puzzles and spells. Hopefully you found what you were looking for here. Uh, I don't know if these always end on the same day, but I think it's... Um, monday sunday or something like that is when the week rolls over to the next week and all your trophies get reset and i think that's pretty much everything there is to know about 
uh, clubs and Harry Potter puzzles and spells.